Even if I don't know how to forgive, I am willing. My name is Gladys. See this arm? <laughs> These arms help me. I am 88 years old. Like I'm always bumping into something. I'm, I'm a reckless driver. <laughs> and I've been receiving help from St. Andrews for eight years. It's a little bit of help she receives multiple times a week from St. Andrews Resources for Seniors. I'll tell you the truth, I don't know what I would do without it because I couldn't afford you know, to pay someone, and and uh, I'm, I, I might end up going to, to a nursing home. Being cared for by others is new to Gladys. My mother died when I was young. Well, I was only 10, and of course my mother was a housewife, and my mother, my father worked, and I, I didn't know how to do anything. So I had to learn how to cook, wash, iron, clean, sew, and do everything. She cared for her ailing father and brother, forcing her to grow up much sooner than she wanted. Oh, Lord, I cried many, many times because I wasn't able, you know, to, to have the fun that the other kids were having. But Gladys, like many seniors, has battled many health issues herself. The Lord has brought me through so, so many f f conditions. Uh, I, 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 when I was only 39, I had my first bout with breast cancer, and 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 then uh, of course the allergies and sinusitis developed. The table helps everything, and the furniture helps me. Then I had a, a recurrence of the cancer, and then after that, this uh, sciatica and severe spinal stenosis developed, and I was just de debilitated. I was in a wheelchair for about eight months. And it was then she knew it was her turn to ask for help. My name is Donna. Good morning. I'm a CNA and home health aide. Good morning. Oh, I'm just really, I can't wait until she gets here. <laughs> I can't because she comes in and she's pleasant, you know, and, and well, anyway, she just spreads the joy. We do our cook meal. We, we have like the cook meal. Donna is just, just like family. We just took to each other. But it's not just the companionship. Donna takes care of the many things Gladys simply can't. Things many of us take for granted. Well, she'll help me with my dress. I need assistance sometimes with take, putting things over my head and then, then putting my shoes and socks on. And, and she helps me with that. She help, helps me with my bath and, you know, this long, thick hair. She shampoos and combs it, you know, and, and uh, she prepares, uh, like, my breakfast. Even breakfast has become a challenge for Gladys. Two torn rotator cuffs keeps her from lifting many things. I use a chair and this table. That helps me to get up. And then there's the fear of falling. I fell a couple of times last year. I have always been, really been afraid, you know, to, to be here, be here by myself since since my balance has been off, and then I, my condition has you know gotten worse. But it's really, really a, a great consolation, you know, having her here in case in case I should should fall, that she could get help for me. To Donna, her role in Gladys's life is simple. We are like enablers because the people actually want to stay in their homes, so we're the part that says. This is doable. The only thing that holds her back is um, her physical situation. That's all. Because to Gladys, there's no place she'd rather be. I know it would be very devastating, and I, I know, you know, have to leave, leave my home. She's here in the community. She's a part of the community, not just a family. But being in your home, you're part of community. Gladys is lucky to be able to remain in her home, but there are many seniors who don't have that option. They require the extra care of an assisted living or skilled nursing facility. And although this type of transition can be challenging, St. Andrews is there to make sure seniors and their caregivers have the resources they need to make empowered choices that are right for them. For Gladys, St. Andrews provides in-home care that allows her to remain independent in her own home. And that's what's right for her. She's the backbone in the community. Donna visits three homes a week, 
Gladys is just one of the many lives she's been a part of. Her passion for caring for the elderly and her love of St. Andrews is evident. And I feel good being part of a place like St. Andrews. But this can't happen without help from people like you. St. Andrews relies on contributions from individuals and the community to give people like Gladys the support that they need to live secure and productive lives. One life touched so many. It just touches so many. And she's one of those people. Oh, I'm blessed. I thank God throughout the day for the blessings that he is bestowing on me and the blessings that he bestows on everybody in this world. There's no place like home.